Hey everybody, uh, there's just a few of us from LM team and just kind of break down um, just the upcoming release we have of Take Control. So we have here Sunny, we have Savannah, we have Evelyn, which is pretty much the vocalist that you're going to be hearing um, coming up on it. And you have myself, Colton. We're just so excited for it as well. And so that's why we're sitting here just to really just share our hearts behind it and just the heart behind how it even came about. It just came organically just through a worship night here at the Well House. Um, just <clears throat> words and chords and the music itself was just flowing and just within a few months the whole entire song was essentially put together and then here it is you know you get to hear it and just hear the genuine heart cry for it and so I'll just have Sonny kind of break down um, what God was doing inside of him in that time because a lot of it was flowing through him and then it just went to the band where everything else just began to fall in place and so Sonny just give us uh, some insight of what it was like yeah. and just how God is moving and speaking to you yeah, through this am, song. It's amazing. This song has already taken like a two year, two year journey and it started like earlier in 2020, I think earlier in 2020. And I remember being up in the middle of the night, honestly, and I had my guitar. Uh, actually, I actually had to get my guitar and I, I just had no other option, but I just started singing this song and I think it was just a heart cry out of my own like personal life, out of all the things that were going on, heartache, difficulties, and, and stressors, and, and you know, all the internal, emotional, relational uh, strife that comes about in life. And then on top of that, you know, 2020 was kind of a year with so much stress already, with things starting to break down all around the world with, with COVID. And so it became a very personal and then very like, a corporate song at the same time and it began to become something that like God was starting to use my own life it's like hey God you know Sonny learn how to how to just give control and and the verse that was coming into my mind like and Jesus said lose your life so that you can find it right and that was that whole idea of like how can that be how can I find my life when um, and when I lose it well that's when I lose it I'm giving my life to Jesus fully right and so that became the, the heartbeat of the song and it actually began to grow and bubble into something in 2020, ironically, right? The entire year, month by month in rehearsals or even in like personal times, the verses just began to write themselves. Like don't want to be governed by circumstances or led by feeling. Uh, don't want to be drowned in all these noises, caught up in all these voices. And I just began to like start to see all the various angles of life and how young people are dealing with social media and the voices that, that destroy so much. Um, there's so many different dimensions that the song kind of just started to take up. And uh, I think it was one of the worship nights where the bridge really fell into place, where but that phrase of, you're the captain of my ship, um, that whole idea came out in a worship night. And it's, it kind of brought the whole song full circle and just like finished it, <laughs> you know, for me. It was like, how crazy of a phrase, right, to be able to say, God, you're the captain of my ship. And then the, you're the owner of my time. Like, God, when I've lost my life and I've given my life to you, well, you own my life. And then you own my time. And you tell me where to go. It's your will I want to find. And, you know, so that's, that whole bridge became the heartbeat of my life. And then the, the year, and then it turned into, like, the song you wanted to try. And I remember we had gotten into the studio and, and got a chance to record an acoustic version with some worship leaders. And that's where Evelyn kind of, her story began to, get threaded into the song because she, she latched onto it just vocally. And I remember just going, God, like you're doing something here that's much bigger and wider than I could ever have imagined. So um, just some, it's just God's timing is impeccable in here 2022, as we're entering this new year, uh, looking ahead and, and desiring to see God do powerful and amazing things. The song's release, you know, the way that it's falling, I think is just perfect because it's a prayer we're praying as a team, as a church. <clears throat> we want to give God complete control because he's the captain of our ship and he's the owner of our time and the owner of our lives and he's going to tell us where to go. And so uh, it's just all coming together in a way that I never thought. Um, and it's just another example of how God works. <laughs> he's so perfect in his timing. So that's just a little snippet of the song. I mean, there's a lot more to it, but uh, yeah. I wanted to share an overview. So, <clears throat> yeah. So when you were kind of just brought into this, um, in a sense, kind of blindly, in a way, like where you've been a part of worship nights and you've been able to experience the, you know, what the song actually means. Mm -hmm. And you weren't initially part of like that 
actual writing process, but now we've been able to see you fully embrace the song for what it is. Mm -hmm. And so, truthfully, it's like, even what does it mean for you? What does it mean for take control? For when you're crying out for God to really take control? Hmm. Um, the song, to me, it's basically like what, what the words say. Um, the words itself is just so powerful to me. Um, when I think about the goodness of God, when I think about the power of God and how just a majestic God is, yeah. and for us to be able to say, here, God, take control. Like, he's all... I was thinking about the song like why am I saying take control you're already in control but really it's about my life giving it to him now yeah. I'm saying you take over my life mm -hmm. you're already over everything else but it's more powerful more personal for me to just give it to him and to surrender that you know every every part of me I guess and so that the song to me is just so powerful and um, it's amazing to me because it's a prayer of mine, like every day. I want God to mm -hmm. take over. I want Him to be, you know, the the captain of my ship, mm -hmm. the owner of my time. Um, and I know it sounds hard because we have a lot of things going yeah. on in this world. We have a lot of distractions, but um, just the whisper and um, mm -hmm. just the surrender itself to God, say, take control. It, it's amazing and. God is good, you know? <laughs> like, when you tell him to take control, he's going to take control. He's, he's a yeah. good guy, right? yeah. you know? He's not, he's not going to mess up your life just yeah. because yes. you say take control. But, yeah, it's just let him be the Lord of your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's what he wants. I'm going to interject a little bit because I also feel like this year, or I guess 2021, I guess, I mean, the year before, um, that I think the song became more and more real to you yeah. because of your own personal, like, mm -hmm. struggles and issues, yeah. you know? As we've worshipped, you know, we've, we've been going all over the Midwest and, and you know, Evelyn jumps on the, the ship, you know, and, and most of the time she gets to lead this song and it's become more and more um, real and I think personal to her as, as it's gone on, you know, mm -hmm. and so it's been amazing to kind of be a bystander. Uh, this is one example of something how, like, a lot of times you think you write songs and you want to just lead them, but I found, like, God, like, orchestrated this entire thing and do where like it became a real song to her yeah. and 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 it's amazing to kind of be there you know, as a brother on a stage and seeing her lead the song and seeing what God does through through that uh, is, is a really amazing amazing thing to see and I'm not surprised that this live take I mean this this release is like a completely live take of the song from Breakaway last year uh, a youth conference we did in December and so the song just landed in a way we never thought the band had not rehearsed it <laughs> we literally just we, we just we just said we're going to do it and and yeah. it was five minutes before the night you know began and we're like let's just try it and came with the last minute arrangement and we just went after it and the song landed and in a way we never thought so we just felt like god's been on this thing from the very get-go and the way he works is just overwhelming it's beyond me so. mm -hmm. yeah <clears throat> yeah and like thinking about um what you just said about like one by but every time I let it I felt like there was like something new that came out yeah. there was like some a, a part of me that I needed to surrender to God mm -hmm. and so that breakaway moment I remember feeling like I don't even know what I'm doing like my voice is not ready for this <laughs> but you know what let's just go with it and I really felt the presence of God um, just being over me and mm -hmm comforting me and knowing that I can give control to the Lord in that moment and it's not even about singing it's not yeah. even about how the voice was sounding because honestly I couldn't even hear my voice <laughs> but um just giving control to God and I feel like that breakaway moment was just like it was just building up from like the beginning and now it's like wow yeah. God is taking control it's crazy yeah so Savannah that you've been a part of a lot of the worship nights and even though you're not necessarily a part of like the band itself you still play a crucial part in part of the whole team as a whole um, and you just get to constantly experience worship day in day out through this and I think it's nice for us to even just bring a perspective in of what it is just for I don't know if you want to call it like an average person or like you not even like a musically person because this isn't about the song itself, it's just about connecting with God through the song. You know, it's not about the special notes or the special things that Evelyn can do with her voice or what someone can do with the instruments, yeah. truthfully. It's just about someone's heart where that should connect with God. And so 
what does it even mean for you whenever you're you know listening and worshiping to this song and even from day one because you've been a part of it to day one too you get to see the song grow you know mm-hmm. from basically only to a verse up until now where it's a full song right. beginning to end singing mm-hmm. live at a youth conference <laughs> yeah. you know and being recorded so yeah. um yeah which is really what does it mean to you yeah yeah, so before Take Control was like an actual put together song that we were like singing and um, leading worship with, it started out just it started as just a moment of a worship night that we were having together where these lyrics were flowing through Sunny, and um, you know worship it is a connection point to the Lord, and so I think really Take Control when we're asking God to take control, we're asking we're basically giving up our hands and saying, I can't do it. (laughs) I can't be the controller of my life. I can't control all these specific situations I've been put in. I can't control, uh, you know, my future. I can't control my past. Um, So for me, it's a song of surrender, of complete and utter, just like, Lord, have your way in my life. Do the things that you need to do in my life. And especially, uh, as Sunny was saying, when we started having those worship moments which led to the song of take control it was in a really dark and desperate time in our nation and every day there was like more bad news (laughs) about something that was going on there's more division there's more chaos there's more controversy and as christians it's very painful for us to see our nation in that place Um, and you want to do something about it so badly but it's also you have to recognize that there's really nothing you can do without the lord um, and asking him to even take control on a bigger nation not just my life but as a nation take control of our country take control of our state take control of our city like there's there's nothing that can happen uh, there's no spiritual move that can happen in our country without him so it's just a very uh, incredibly special song to me and like I said a song of just utter surrender and also utter devotion like I don't want to be controlled by anything else I don't want to be controlled by all these opinions that are coming out you know on a daily basis I don't want to be controlled by the bad news I don't want to be controlled by these horrific things happening I want to turn to my Lord and my Savior and find shelter in him and find peace and comfort in knowing that he's in control and that I'm giving him willingly this control over my life and all the things that I might be worried about yeah. um, and I think Breakaway 2021 was such a special moment uh, when Evelyn was leading that time with Take Control because we have a whole room full of middle schoolers yeah, and high schoolers. schoolers. <laughs> and like, what an incredible thing to lead them and like give the Lord control over your life. Give him control over your heart because you know, as a nation, <laughs> as a culture, as a society, you know, kids are told basically like there's a lot of things that you have to do to set your life up correctly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. they might feel like all that pressure of their future and what they're going to do and their yeah. lives is all on them. But that's not true. That's a lie. Mm-hmm. And so I think it was just a really powerful moment of breakthrough of like, you don't have to take control of everything. You're not you know, in control of uh, necessarily everything that's going to happen in your future. The Lord has you if you will let him. Mm -hmm. And so, especially with you, a lot of girls, you know, they worry about a lot of different things. And so I think you really set an example for them of what it means to just lay down your life before Christ and let him take over. So, yeah. Um, Another thought's coming to me as you're sharing, (laughs) because I'm like, I have to say more. The the thing that that God has used this song to humble me, you know, it's amazing how he does that because it's all his anyway. It starts with him and ends with him. And uh, it's taught me and it's teaching me and I think will continue to remind me about how God has called us to live out the miracle of faith every single day. Yeah. Right? And, and I think sometimes we, we get caught up into a, a brand of Christianity that's very like, you know, vanilla and very surfacy and very much uh, something very like filled with grace and mercy, but we don't, we don't fully in- inhabit what God wants us to experience. And it's a challenge sometimes even for me and say, man, like, I don't want to be governed by my emotions. I don't want to be governed by my feelings. I don't want to be governed by these thoughts and these voices. I don't want to be governed by my circumstances. I don't want to be drowned in these noise. Like, these are like continual prayers that I find myself even praying to this day because 
to walk by faith means not to walk by sight. Yeah. And you have to fix your eyes on Jesus and say, God, I'm giving you control over my life and I'm going to rely on you. I'm going to trust in you, not lean on my understanding. I acknowledge you in all my ways and you're going to make my path straight. Your ways and thoughts are higher than mine. And so it's always that like positioning of humility and reminding myself and then even in worship moments, you know, continually leading people into that place of get out of that, you know, get off of the wheel of your life mm -hmm. and, and understand that, you know, you don't want to be driven by all these other things. They're not going to take you anywhere good. Mm -hmm. Only God uh, will take you somewhere good because he's yeah. a good God. And yeah. so follow him. Um, and so it, it's a very, very deep and a powerful cry that I take personally. Mm -hmm. And so as this is released to the world, the prayer is that everybody would do the same, you know, because our lives would be different if we truly gave control to Jesus and said, God, you know, that you're the Lord of my mind, you're the Lord of my heart, you're the Lord of my days, you're the owner of my time. I mean, when you just surrender your life to him, you'll be surprised to see what God can actually do and the miracles that will show up because you'll look around and go, oh my goodness, I'm walking on water right now. You know, Peter was walking on water when his eyes were fixed on Jesus. So, so we want you to experience that. We want you to experience the miracle of faith. We want you to experience the walking of water um, because it's possible just by simply saying yes to Jesus mm -hmm. and how you can be flying like an eagle, you know, above the, the heartache of your life because of your faith in Jesus. And, and I know everybody wants to experience that. So uh, we just pray there's an encounter that you have with this song. Yeah. So. Yeah, so just for those of you out there uh, who are interested to maybe even lead this song uh, in your churches or groups, um, whatever, you know, this song is a very simple song, so I feel like it can apply to any context uh, that, you, that you may be in right now. Um, the song is recorded in the key of E for a female vocal. Uh, if I lead it, I'll sometimes flip, flip it up to G. If it feels a little bit better for the male vocal, but I'll give, give some chords uh, to you right now. And it's going to tell you how the song goes in, um, in the key of E, okay? So, verses, Evelyn, you want to just sing with me real quick so that people can get an idea. Verses start off, and even in the intro, is this the C sharp, A, E, and then B for boy, which is basically 6, 4, and then the 1, and the 5, very common progression. So, I'll just sing this verse real quick. So, 1, 2, don't wanna be There's four here. One. And then the chorus take control, it goes into the D major chord. And then it goes to A and back to E. So that's just a little bit of an odd chord, I know, but um, it's something that is pretty easy to play too. So here's the chorus, okay? So one, two, take control. And the bridge uh, goes to that D again. You're the captain of my ship. And then the A, the four chord. You're the chords there and then the last chorus is a little bit changed um, and so a couple more funny chords I'm sorry about that but they're pretty simple you know in the key of E we actually flip to the B minor and then we go to the F sharp minor and then we go to the E so this is how the last chorus goes I give you control so two I give you control Provide 
provides a lift at the end of the song again here. I give you control. Those are the parts of the song. They're actually really simple, and we'll have some chord sheets available for you linked on our website. So uh, feel free to check it out, okay? Love you guys so much, and thankful for this time. Take control.